morning, church. Good morning, church good morning. family. Good morning. good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is such a blessing um, to be back in the house of the Lord, to be before um, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This has definitely been a journey for all of us, for myself, and for our church members. So, so glad that you are um, here with us this morning to praise the Lord, because he is truly good, and he has been good to us, no matter what our circumstances and our situations are. Amen. He is very good to us. So, good morning, and thank you for joining us. We're going to open up with our morning scripture, and our morning scripture uh, will be coming out of Isaiah Isaiah 43, Isaiah 43, and we're going to read from 16 through 19, Isaiah 16 through 19. So those at home, please grab your Bibles, your Bible apps, and turn with us to Isaiah 43. We're reading 16 through 19. Those here in the sanctuary, God bless you. Great to see you. Uh, please turn to Isaiah 43, 16 through 19. When you have it, please stand to your feet in reverence of the Lord's most holy word. Amen. 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 And the word goes, this is what the Lord says. Who he... he who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, who drew out the chariots and horses, the army and reinforcements together, and they lay there, never to rise again, extinguished, snuffed out like a wick. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord God. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Please remain standing for prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We might not understand everything <clears throat> that happens and what we go through. But we know, Lord God, that you are still strong. You still sit on the throne. You are still in the midst, Lord God. And we still cling to your righteous right hand, Lord God. We still look to you because we know that you are where our help comes from, Lord God. So when we are weak and we are weary, Lord God, we know that we can still turn on you. We know that we can press and push and lean on you, Lord God, because you are strong. We give you our burdens, Lord God. And you are so strong that you take them upon yourself, Lord God. We might not see what you have planned for us, Lord God, but if we keep the faith and we stay on the path, that you will reveal it all to us, Lord God. You are there, Lord God, to take our mess and turn it into our message. Take these tests, Lord God, and turn them into testimonies, Lord God. You still work miraculous miracles every single day, Lord God, and we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for being faithful when our faith wanes and fluctuates, Lord God. We thank you for continuing to be there, Lord God, smiling down upon us, saying that we are your children, Lord God, and holding us, enveloping us in your love, Lord God, for sending your Holy Spirit, Lord God, for dwelling, to dwell within us, Lord God, for activating with us, Lord, within us, Lord God, when we don't know which way to turn, Lord God. But as long as we stand fast and stand on your word, Lord God, because you are a rock, you will continue yes. to lead us and guide us, Lord God. Yes. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We are stepping out on faith, Lord God, for this ministry, for this church congregation, Lord God. We are stepping out on faith. We will continue to move forward, Lord God, on the path that you had already set out for us, Lord God. Yes. We will continue to fight the good fight, Lord God for this ministry, to do what this ministry was called and developed to do, Lord God, through you, through you, Lord God, through you, Lord God, we will continue with this ministry. So we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We lift you up. We just bless the service today, Lord God. We bless the speaker of the hour, Lord God. We ask that her, her voice and her words are anointed by you, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit just comes through, Lord God, that her spirit, herself, 
herself is set aside for God, that everything that is coming out of the mouth is of you, that is of you, Lord God, and that the words, your word, Lord God, it does not fall upon deaf ears, Lord God, that it penetrates the soul, somebody's spirit, Lord God, that it breaks it breaks bonds, it breaks chains, Lord God. It opens up, it molds, and it shapes the spirit, Lord God, to just so somebody could want to learn more about you. Yes. So we thank you, Lord God. We lift you up. We praise your name as we move forward with today's service. We just say, in Jesus' name, we love you. Jesus. Amen. 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 So we're going to go ahead, and um, I'm going to give it to Minister Brady so she can... We can do some praise and worship songs. Amen. Amen. Praise God, everybody. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Oh. Amen. Amen. Hold on. We're going to start off in the, within the sanctuary. Oh, you can't hear. Okay, there we go. There we go. Amen. What page would that be, please? Um, so that is on page eight. In the sanctuary. All right. Come on, let's usher in the spirit. We're going to usher in, yes. We're going to usher in the spirit of the Lord. Oh, Amen. There we go. Praise God. Get it started. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We lift our hands Amen. in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our days. We lift, we lift our hands in the sanctuary. Yeah, we lift our hands to give you the glory. Yes. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our days. We clap. We clap our hands in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. We clap our hands to give you the glory. We clap our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our days. We lift our hands. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Yes. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. We lift, we lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our days. We clap our hands in the sanctuary. We clap our hands to give you the glory. We clap our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Yes. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For the rest of our days. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For the rest of our days. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. We give you the praise. Emmanuel. We lift up your name. Heavenly Father. Come in the sky.
If you're not praising, I don't know what's Thank going you, on with y'all out there. Hallelujah. Amen. He is a good God. He is an awesome God. He is a worthy God. Amen. He is an awesome God. He is our friend. He is our friend. He is worthy of the yes. There's glory in his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, when you call out his name, he will hear you. You will honor him. And he will bless you. Hallelujah. That's scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Just shout it out. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get pumped up for God. Get pumped up for Jesus. Like you pumped up for the game. Like you pumped up for your favorite song. Like you pumped up for that nay nay. You better come on now. it up today. Usually we do um, ties and offering at the end, but we, we're going to try to make it make things a little bit normal than what they have been. Amen? Go Amen. back to the the way service has been ran. So right now, it's going to be time for ties and offering. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Amen, Lord. I remember Amen. before Danny passed, when we say it's time for ties and offering, he was like, yeah! So praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God, Lord. It is now time for tithes and offerings. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, Hallelujah. Um, for you guys out there, you can go to our cash app, which is dollar sign 2019 URP to pay your tithes that way. Or you can call Lady Nikki and she can take your tithes over the phone. Or you can go to our website, www freedominchristministries.org and scroll down to Hallelujah. the donation button and click that donate. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. we, as I always say, we appreciate you. We love you. We thank you for um, for your donations, for your tithes, and for your offerings because it does help keep our building open, keep the bills yes. paid here. Thank so we you appreciate Lord. you and we thank God for you. Thank Amen. You Amen. 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 So again, it is www.freedominchristministries.org or dollar sign URP, yes. dollar sign uh, 2019 URP. Amen. Amen. To uh, pay tithes and offering that way. And if you are in the home, in the house of the Lord today, um, you can come up and put your tithes and offerings in the bucket. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank Amen. You, Lord. So we thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. How's that song go? Is that, oh, uh, you got the key to the Yes. Yes. All right. You got it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's been a while. I forgot all of that. Thank you. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. We're going to take some time out. Enjoy. Amen. Praise God. Don't forget hallelujah. it's about God today. Amen. It's about God all day, every day. Amen. 24 7. 24 7. That's right. Hallelujah.
Amen. So as we were looking, I found this scripture, Zechariah. It says, Then the then the survivors from all the nations that have that have uh, attacked Jerusalem will go up year after year to worship the king, the Lord Almighty, and to celebrate the festival of the of the tabernacle. So we are survivors today. So we yes, have to Lord. go up year after year. Amen? Amen. And worship our king, which is the Lord Almighty. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. And that's what we're doing today. We're celebrating his life, celebrating our life, celebrating his word and his will and his way. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, please stand for prayer. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we just thank you, Father God. We thank you for the tithes and the offering, Lord God. We thank you for the people who were able to give. And Lord God, we thank you for those who were not able to give, even if, even when they wanted to, Father God. Lord God, we just ask that you double and triple these blessings that we have been that we have received today, Lord God, and that you see put, that you use it for your will, Lord God. We thank you and we glorify your holy name. We lift you up in Jesus' name. We celebrate you today, Lord God. We're coming up to you. We're praising you, Lord God. It's all about you, Lord God. And we thank you for that. We glorify you and we worship you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Be seated. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Well, y'all gonna be mad at me. I forgot I got to read my scripture. Okay, y'all have to get back here. So. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's all right. Hallelujah. All right. So, whew. amen. Thank you, Lord God. Today we're gonna be talking about surviving. That's that's the title I made for it. It might change midway through mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the sermon. Amen. So we're gonna be reading the scripture that I have today. It's a pretty long one, but it was well needed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ephesians 6 verse 10 through 17. Ephesians 6 10 through 17. Ephesians 6 Amen. 10 through 17. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Lord. Now see, I got it typed out, but I, I like to try to read it straight out in my Bible. Mm -hmm. I used to be able to go quick. And find it. Six what? Uh, six, uh, verse 10 through 17. I know, I need those little markers in my uh, Bible. Don't nobody ever feel ashamed that you don't know exactly where everything is in the Bible, no? 10 through, 10 through 17, amen? Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Finally, mm -hmm. be strong in the Lord yes. and in his mighty power. Yes. Put on the full armor of yes. God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Huh? Yeah. 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 For our struggle yeah. is not against flesh yeah. and blood, yeah. Yeah. but against the rulers, yeah. against the authorities, yeah. against the powers yeah. of this dark yeah. world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Praise God. Come on now. Therefore, mm -hmm. he said, therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, Hallelujah. you may be able to stand your ground. Yes. And Thank after you, you have done everything to stand, hmm. he said, after you're done standing, still stand, stand firm mm -hmm. then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplates of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows Hallelujah. of the evil one. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on yes, now. Yes. Take Come on. the helmet yes. of salvation yes. and the sword of the spirit, mm -hmm. which is the word, the the word, word of God. God. Amen. Amen. I put 18 on here, so I'm going to read it too. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And pray in the Spirit yes, yes, on, on all occasions yes, with Lord. all oh, kinds Jesus. of prayers yes. and requests. Yes. Be alert 
and always keep on praying mm -hmm. for all the Lord's people. Yes. Thank Come on now. May Thank the Lord you, add a blessing yes, to the readers, hearers, and doers yes, of His Jesus. holy word. Yes, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Yes, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Come on now. Yes, Thank Jesus. you, Lord. I know I've talked about the armor before, but this is this is real stuff. This is real stuff then and now. Amen. Yes. Put on the full armor of God. Be ready. That's what he's saying. Be ready. <clears throat> Make sure you're wearing your armor. The flesh and blood. He said this is not against flesh and blood. It is against the spirit the evil spirits, amen, from the amen. evil schemes, the devil schemes, against the rulers and against authorities, against the powers of this dark world. Amen. Don't forget that. It's not against one another. We have to stand firm in Jesus, amen? Amen. amen. We have to stand firm with the armor on, the buckle, the belt of truth buckled around your waist, the breastplate of righteousness in its place. Place. with your feet fitted with the yeah. readiness yeah that's the shoes he provided us with the shoes amen yeah. 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 Mm. Walk right. come on now from the gospel of peace mm -hmm. in addition the shield of faith the shield of faith remember remember y'all the faith cures what doubt oh, yeah mm -hmm. faith cures fear mm-hmm mm -hmm. So he's saying put the shield up because faith will take care of everything. It'll help you out in that need. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. With which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows. Faith. Faith is going to stop anything that's coming your way. Those flaming arrows of the evil one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Which is the word of God. Come on now, hold it in your heart. Yes. Hold it in your soul. Yes. Keep it with you all day, every day, 24-7. Right, Patrick? 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, don't forget to pray for one another. Mm -hmm. Always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. With all kinds of praise. Pray in the spirit on all occasions. That's word. You know, you hear it said all the time through the good and through the bad, but it's here in the Bible through all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, we just thank you, Father God. I ask that you just speak through me today, Lord God, that your word goes forth, Lord God, that your will and your way is set forth, Father God, that it is received, Father God. Lord, we just ask that you remove any and everything that is not of you out of us today right now, Lord God. We ask that you just, your spirit flows through us, flow through this building, Lord God, and touch all those who are listening right now, Father God, and that they hear and that they receive everything that you are giving them today, yes, that your Lord word God. is yes, food Lord and God. nourishment yes, for the body and for the soul today, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. We thank you. We glorify. We lift you up on high, Lord yes. God. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I was in Ephesians. The Lord had me in Ephesians um, last night. Amen. Um, and Ephesians is like an instru instruction manual from what I, I gathered from it, amen? Mm -hmm. um, for us to get our stuff in order, Yeah. right? So it, it breaks down everything for us and it tells us, um, first off, who we are in Christ and who Christ is to us. Mm -hmm. And it tells us how and why God created us. So he created us to be with him, to glorify him. Mm -hmm. He created us so that way we um, can be one. So we so we are one unit. Amen. So we can yeah. flow like a river with him. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Thank Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like Ephesians because of that. Most people are like, well, why am I here? What does God really have planned for me? Who am I in Christ? And Ephesians kind of breaks that down and also shows us how we can live as Christians, how we can live. Um, with Christ in his family. Amen? What the, the good, the right things to do and the things not to do. 
Amen. Amen. And that's throughout the whole Bible, really. The whole Bible is our manus uh, manuscript. Yes, Did I say that right? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. So it's actually a letter. So um, from what I got from the, uh, Paul is writing a letter, and he's reminding God's people that God has a plan for you, right? He's reminding them God is here with you. So make sure that you that you do everything that you need to do. He's saying that, let me just read it here. It says, Paul reminding God's people that God has a plan for you. God didn't bring us this far to let, let us down, right? Mm -hmm. God's yeah. not taking you where you need to go just to close the door on you and say, now you got to stop. There's no more. That's not yeah. what he's doing right now. Yeah. God is saying, keep moving forward. Now, in order for you to continue to move forward, this is what I need you to do. Yes. Right? Yes. Because he's never going to let us down. It's reminding us that no matter the differences in where we are, who we are, where we come from, what color we are, we all serve one God. Yeah. yeah. Right? We all serve one God, the same God. He may have many different names, right? But he's letting us know that we all serve one God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise and worship the same God. Mm -hmm. That's why he says Jews and Gentiles are one of the same. And he even goes on to say that he has no favorites. Mm -hmm. There is no favoritism. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There is no favoritism. Yes, so that means the same love he's got for you, he has the same love for me. All right. He loves everybody the same. Why? Because if he didn't, he wouldn't have given up his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. All right. He wouldn't have sent Jesus to the cross for us. Mm -hmm. He sent Jesus to the cross for everybody. Right, 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 right. For everybody. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. For everybody. Mm -hmm. So there is no favorites when it comes to God. There might be favorites. You know how you be like, I got a favorite cousin or I got a favorite brother or favorite sister. Mm -hmm. God don't play that. He said everybody is the same. Yes. Y'all get on my nerve the same. Yeah. And I love you the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The yeah. sin yeah. might be a little different, but the sin is a, sin, a sin. Is a, a sin. sin. All right. All right. Ain't no sin greater than the other sin because yeah. they all is sin. A sin. Yeah. Right. So he yeah. love you and he get mad at you the same. Why? Because we all sin. Mm -hmm. But he's like, I'm gonna forgive us all. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So we we are the same. We are one and the same. So we need to learn how to treat each other the same. We need to learn how to love each other the same. The same way that God loves us. Help us, Lord. Come on now. Uh, yeah. Amen. Help us. We can't play favorites on who we like more or who we want to hang out with more. No, God says hang out with all. You are all one body. Mm -hmm. When we come into Christ's life, when we come into the family of Christ, we are all one body. We flow together in the same river. We may have different positions and different responsibilities, but those different positions and different responsibilities are what makes the river flow yeah. mm -hmm. are what makes the body one All right. are what makes us on one accord mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what God wants us to be on on one accord because we work together as one in the glory of God hallelujah Amen. Amen. we have to work together for the glory of God because that's what he wants us to do that's why he explained to Ephesians this is how you break down everything here's how you live as a Christian this is how you teach your children, amen? This is how you follow on that path. What an awesome God, right? Yes. Hmm. What an awesome God. He gives us the opportunity to learn. He gives us the opportunity to grow. And he shows us how we can be on one accord. Hallelujah. Amen. But some people have forgotten that. Some people have forgotten God's message. They've forgotten his promise and his purpose which is for all of us to be in one body of Christ. For all of us to be in one body of Christ. So no matter what church you go to, it may not be the same as, as this one, as ours. 
or no matter what street you live on, you praise God, you praise in the same God. We should be on one accord. We should be fellowshipping together as one. Yes, Amen? Yes. We should be working together as one for God's purpose, which is to bring uh, people to him, which is to get them out of sin and help uh, glorify God, help build his kingdom. Amen? Amen? For his purpose, for his will, and for his promise. We have to make sure that this continues on. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ephesians 3 3 through 6 says, That is a mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have read already written briefly. So this is Paul writing to you Ephesians, right? Writing in Ephesians, saying, I've already let you guys know, but this is the revelation that, that God has given me. In reading this, then you'll be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to people in other generations as it has been known and revealed by the spirit of God's holy apostles and prophets. Mm -hmm. So right now he's letting us know, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to let you know what God is saying. I'm going to let you know the mystery behind what God has got going on. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel. Okay, so he's saying that we are all in this together. We are all heirs. We are all kings and queens together. He Hallelujah. brought this word together. Hallelujah. We are all heirs yes. to, to God's throne. Yes. We are all heirs to get to the promise. We are yes. all heirs to get to heaven, to be with him. Amen. Yes. Amen. There is no separation. There is no, oh, you're going to be over here and we're going to be over there. No, he, we are one body. We are all going to the same place. We are all heirs with Israel. Jews, Gentile, black, white, whatever, men, women, we are all heirs together to see God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Members together of one body and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. He's letting us know already. We are one. We are one and the same. We are going to have the same promise that, that God gave us. The promised land is there for us. Mm -hmm. We have to work together to get there. Hallelujah. We have to work together to yes, get there. Yes, yes. There is no separation. We are one body. We serve one God, the same God. And although we may have different names, jobs, roles mm -hmm. that we play, we are one and the same. Praise God for that. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Praise amen. God for that, for not seeing a difference. Yeah. Praise God for that, for choosing me. Praise God for letting us know that we are together. There's so much stuff going on in the world from past till now, and maybe in the future too, where there's constantly someone saying, you're different from me, so I'm going to treat you differently. But you say you praise the same God. You praise God and you worship God, and yet God's word says we are one body, Jews and Gentiles, we are one of the same, yet you try to treat us differently. Yeah. That's not God's word. So that is not being a river. That is not being on one accord. But that's what we need to do. We need to come together and say, no, this is what God's word says. Show them in scripture. It's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not what we're trying to say. Yeah. God said it here. He said we are one of the same. Gentiles our heirs together with Israel, Jews and Gentiles, we are one of the same. Yes. So praise God for that, for let for Him letting you know that we are together. We are one of the same. We are no different from anybody else. Mm -hmm. He opened my eyes to let me know that. Because <clears throat> sometimes you know you feel left out, you feel alone, you feel lost, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you feel scared, you feel fear, mm -hmm. because people feel like you are are different. Or you praise different. That's not how I praise. Right. Come on. Is there a limit on praise? Yeah. Is there a difference on yes. how you're supposed to praise? Yeah. 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 I think God said praise him anyway. Just praise him. Worship yes. him. Mm -hmm. And how we do that, yeah, we are we're doing it in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. We are spiritually worshiping, yeah. worshiping God. There is yeah. no yeah. difference. We yeah. love God yeah. and he loves us. Yeah. Yes. 
So we shouldn't judge and they shouldn't judge us on how we praise God. They shouldn't judge us on how we look, how we dress, what color skin we are. Amen? Amen. Amen. We all are heirs to God's throne or to, to the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Yes. Yes. Glorify you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He showed me no matter where I go to worship him, I am still a part of his family. No matter where you go to worship him, you are still a part of his family. His will, his plan, and his circle. Amen? Okay, so I know you guys have seen the movie Meet the Poppers, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, the dad had the circle of trust. Yeah, the circle of trust. The circle of trust. Uh -huh. So we're in God's circle. Mm -hmm. We're in God's circle of trust. Now, his thing was he could take people out the circle of trust. He's like, oh, no, you're, you're out the circle of trust. You, you're not being honest. Mm -hmm. But see, we don't, God doesn't take anybody out of his circle. We take ourselves out of the circle. Right. Right. We, walk, yeah. we walk out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We walk out. Yeah. But God is like, this circle is made for you. This is all, this is all of us. Yeah. This is all of us. And he wants us to continue to be in that circle of trust. Amen? Amen. In his family. In his life. In his plan. In his will. Because we have work to do. Right. We have work to do. Which is why he said, get ready. Put on your armor. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are ready so when the evil comes, yeah. you can it's stand true. firm. Yeah. You can stand on where you are. But see, we need each other. We need each other so we can be on one accord. There, as we link arms with our armor on, there can't be any cracks or any lazy folk holding halfway into it. No, God says yeah. we have to be strong. We have to stand firm. We have to be ready for battle. Amen? Amen. We have to be ready. So let's be on one accord. Open up your heart and your eyes to what God is teaching us. Just because we have different churches, different names, different things that we go by, we're still serving and praising one God. And if you serve in some other God, then, then you messing up. We don't serve no other God but Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen? Amen. And if you on that page with us, then we family. Amen? We family. No matter what. We're a part of that. We are part of that. The difference is he does not put anyone out, but we put ourselves out. Mm -hmm. So don't put yourself out of God's circle. Get in there and stay in there. Yes. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. Huh. Yeah. This is scripture, so I'm not yeah. just saying yeah. what I'm saying just because I want to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. You don't? No, I'm saying it because God said it. He gave it to Paul to let us know. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers. We are not that. But we are fellow citizens with God's people and also members mm -hmm. of his household. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are members of his household, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. Yeah. So we have a solid foundation. We have a solid foundation. All we have to do is continue to build from there. And that's what God wants us to do. Continue to build his kingdom, continue to armor up, continue to believe, continue to have faith, and continue to love on one another. Continue to pray for one another. That's what the scripture said at the beginning. It said, hold on, let me go back. Mm. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Be alert. He's like, you know, be ready. Be alert. And always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Are we not all the Lord's people? Yeah. Are we not God's people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. People out in the street, people here, there, wherever. We're supposed to be praying for them all. 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 Because all. Yeah. You know. we are no longer foreigners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're no longer strangers. Yeah. 
uh, there's a song and a scripture that says we are a friend of God. Yeah. We are a friend of God. We don't we no longer have to do sacrifices or anything like that or go through a third party to get to Jesus or to get to God. No, we can go straight to the source. Amen. We have now become friends. Hallelujah. We are now members. Hallelujah. We are now citizens. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We are being molded to the people we are supposed to be. So God can dwell within us, his temple. That's why the Bible says, take care of your temple. Mm -hmm. Your body is the temple in which God dwells, in which yeah. God lives. I pray that out of his glorious, now this is scripture, um, out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Hallelujah. So that God may dwell in your hearts through faith. That means clean this up, y'all. Uh -huh. Clean this up. When we are clean, when we are in God's word, when we are on one accord with God, when we flow like a river, when we pray for our, for our family, for God's people, when we are one accord with each other, worshiping him together, and he dwells in our hearts, we are that vessel. That's when they say, I see God in you. When people see you and you're happy because you're so close with God, you got the spirit of God in you, they see, oh, you got a glow. Mm -hmm. You look different. You move different. You talk different. Mm -hmm. Why? That's because that's God in you. You're allowing God to mold you and change you and remove from those things that is not of him out of your body. Amen? Yeah. You're allowing him to dwell in your heart. You start to treat people differently. You start to tr uh, talk to people differently. You even start to uh, take care of yourself differently. Why? Because that is the temple in which God dwells. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's why he's letting us know to prepare ourselves. Put on your full armor. Prepare yourselves. That means cleaning this up. Going to him. Allowing him to do that for you. Paul was in constant prayer for God's people. He stood in the gap for them to make sure that they had a covering and because he had their best interest at heart. Do you have somebody who's constantly praying for you? Yeah. Who's constantly been a covering for you? Are you being a covering for somebody else? Are you standing in the gap for somebody else? Thank you, Lord. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what we need to do. We need to be powered up. Yes, Lord. We need to have our faith up. We need to be linked arms. We need to be on one accord. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> we constantly pray in the gap for people, and that's what we need to do. Be praying in the gap, stand in the gap for somebody. Make sure they are covered. Make sure that if somebody is coming, you can block them. Your shield of faith. Bing. Mm -hmm. Bing. Yes. Somebody try to come to you, oh, well, sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so did. Bing. Yes. Don't let that in because all it is is the adversary trying to get in and start mess. Yes. That's why we need to be on one accord. That's why we need to be able to say, okay, this is my family. This is God's family. So whatever you think you're going to try to do, whatever you think you're going to try to say, to break up the family is not going to work. Amen. It's not going to work. Amen. Why? Because we have God on our side. Why? Yes. Because we're armored yeah. up. Why? Because there's no cracks, no breaks, no tears here. Mm -hmm. Not at all. God yeah. dwells in us and in this place. Amen? Yeah. So we need to stand in the gap. Stand firm, as scripture says. Let me go back to it. <clears throat> Let me go back to it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. That's what we need to do. 
Be strong in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So the devil's working right now because he's seeing that we're fighting and we're being victorious and that we're going to continue moving on. Mm -hmm. He can throw whatever he wants at us, but it's not going to work. Amen? Right, Amen. Right, right, right. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. So you may be going through something with somebody who's trying to tear you down, trying to break you down, trying to rip you apart, yeah. trying to kill your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay, well, let them tear your show up. Because God has got the victory. Yes. Amen. God has got the victory. That means you have the victory. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against that spirit that has them trapped up, mm -hmm. that have them in a snare. Because they can't get out of it. They're trying to take you down with them. That's all right now. But the best thing we can do is pray for them. Mm -hmm. Look, if you want to, send them a couple scriptures every now and then. Uh, I thought about you. Here's a scripture. They're going to be like, well, why are you even talking to me? I don't even like you. That's okay, but I love you. Come on now. I love you. Yep. That's how we fight back. That's how we fight back against the schemes of the devil. That's how we fight back against those evil spirits. Amen? We fight back with love. Yeah. We fight back with scripture. We fight back with prayer. We fight back with worship. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got your armor on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're fully ready. Amen? He yeah. says, stand firm then. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Stand your ground. Stand firm then with the belt, with the breastplate. Come on now. He's letting us know right now in Ephesians, be ready. But just know that whatever you're going through right now, it's not going to last forever. Somebody can be coming at you right now. But you are victorious in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. You've got your armor on in Jesus' name. He will bless you and he will take care of you. He's not going to leave you. Keep praying. Don't give up. Keep going. Be constant. Be consistent. Basically, Paul, he had their back. Because he constantly prayed for them consistently. He constantly stood in the gap. We need to take a lesson from Paul and pray for God's people. We need to take a lesson from Paul and have each other's back. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We need to have each other's back. Yeah. We need to show the body of Christ that we are here mm -hmm. for them no matter what. Yes. Because we are God's people. We need to show them that we are here. Just like God is here for us no matter what. He's here to pick us up when we fall. After we done sinned 999 times. <laughs> That's my granny's favorite number. <laughs> 999 times. He's here to pick you up. Get back up again. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. God is saying get back up again. But we need to be there for each other. We need to lift each other up. Now, I know you guys see little memes on Facebook sometimes. They got somebody lifting one person up and as soon as they get up there, they can hold yeah. the other person mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Yes. We need to do that in spirit. Yes. We need to do that physically, yes. emotionally, mentally. We need to be able to lift each other up and get us from out of where we are. Yes. Don't yes. just leave them there. Hallelujah. Lift them up. We are Amen. one. Amen. Amen. We are one. Amen. We are one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we are building God's kingdom while he's building us up. So who are we to not try to build somebody else up when God is lifting us up? If God is lifting you up and blessing you and taking care of you, why not be a blessing to somebody else? That's what we are here for. We are here to bless those. We are a blessing to others. We are a testimony. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, we need to lift each other up. We need to be there for each other emotionally. We need to be there for each other in prayer and worship. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes, y'all. 
If the body of Christ don't come together as one unit, we're lost. We amen. have failed. Amen. Amen. We have failed if we don't come together yes. in the body of Christ. Yes. It is time for real fellowship. It is time for us to really fellowship with one another and to love one another for real this time. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? For real this time. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. And to share the knowledge and wisdom of the Lord. We need to do that. We need to do that for one another. We need to love on one another. Worship God. Share his knowledge and wisdom of the Lord that he blesses us with. There's nothing that he don't give us that's not supposed to be taught, that's not supposed to be given out. He didn't give it to us to harbor it and say, oh, no, it's mine. Like the rain smingle, my precious. Yeah, my precious. <laughs> no, 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 it's not just your precious. It's everybody's precious. Amen. God's word is for everybody. Amen? Amen? God's word is for all his people, which we are, all his people. Amen. Take care of one another. We are supposed to make each other better. Not bitter. Oh, come on, yes. I like can, that. I, can I say that again? Yes. You may like that. Please. The Lord, He blessed us so we can make each other better. Yes. Not bitter. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. So let's make each other better. Let's help each other get closer to God. Let's connect and worship and fellowship with God's body of Christ. Yes. Let's do that. Amen? Amen. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Yes. In love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Yes. Amen. Come on now. There is one body. I know I've been saying this, but it's scripture. Amen. Mm -hmm. There is a one body. One spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, mm -hmm. one faith, mm -hmm. one baptism, yes. one God mm -hmm. and Father of all, yes. who is over all and through all and in oh. all. Let's make each other better. Mm -hmm. No more separation. No more you over there and we over here. I got this God over here. You got your... No, there's one God. All right, now. Scripture says it. Mm -hmm. And if somebody try to tell you different, you say, hold on, let me go to Ephesians for you real quick. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4, 2 through 6 says, there is one body, yes. one spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Just as you were called to one hope. Yes. When you were called. Because God has called us all to do something. And one Lord, one faith, one baptism. All you got to do every time you walk by somebody, they got something to say, one. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, we use that when, when we, uh, and sometimes in church, when you get ready to walk by, you go, one. <laughs> yeah. Because it's one God. Amen. Yes, amen. One faith. Amen. One God, through all and in all. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Ephesians is all about how God chose us as his people. How he made a way before we even thought about it. He chose us. He set it up the way, excuse me, he set it up that way we may be adopted into his kingdom. Yes. We have been adopted into God's kingdom. The Bible says because we believed in the truth, in the gospel, that Christ was risen from the dead, we have been marked in him, in Jesus Christ with a seal. The promised Holy Spirit, hallelujah. We have been marked with a seal, which is the promise, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
God has given us the Holy Spirit. So remember, remember we learned about the power of God. Has get, oh, excuse me, hallelujah. Remember we learned about the power of God. The power of God has given us to move mountains. The power of God that, that was given to us to, to live, to survive, to fight. Well, that is the power. The Holy Ghost power. Amen? Amen. That is the power. The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. God says in Ephesians 1.13, you are marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. He promised it to us, and we have it, because why we are his chosen people. Mm -hmm. We have the mark. We are one. Amen. If you don't get nothing out of today, I just want you to know yes. we are one. one yes. We are one, we are one body. We are <laughs> one and the same. One. We serve one God. Yes. With one faith. One. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. One. one. So treat me like I'm you because we won. Yes. Love me like you love yourself because we won. Because yes. we won. Yes. Have my back like you got your back because we won. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. If you are ready to give your life over to Christ Hallelujah. today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 9 says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Confess with your mouth. <clears throat> yes. Remember the road may seem rocky at first. But it will straighten up later. God will straighten your path Amen. for you. Just don't give up. Even today, for us, it's still a little rocky, the things that we have to go through. But we have to trust in God. And that's all God is asking. When you get in that circle, you trust God. Amen. Amen. You, the circle of trust is in God right now. You trust him. Don't walk out because things are getting tough. Jesus went through a lot. And to the cross he went, still praising God. Amen. Still praising God. He didn't step out the circle, because if he did, we would not be here today. Amen. Say it, say it. So stay in the circle of trust. Stay with him. Trust in him. And just ride the road with him, because he'll straighten it out for you. Amen. Amen. Yes, he will. He'll remove everything that's in your way now yes. and make it better for you. Amen. 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 Romans 10, 10, 13 says, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, hallelujah, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. Yes. You will not be put to shame. For there is no difference. Huh? <laughs> what? This scripture one more time. See, now it's a whole other different thing. Because this is in Romans, because we was in Ephesians that said we are one. Huh? It goes on to say, for there is no difference mm -hmm. between Jews and Gentiles. There's no difference between you and that. Because yes. we are what? One. one. Amen. We are one. Hallelujah. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. Yes. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will, will be, be saved. saved. Yeah. Come on now. How awesome is God? Mm -hmm. If you believe that and you said that and you are in God's circle of trust, welcome to the family. Welcome to the one. Yes. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Welcome yeah. to the one. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Welcome to the one. So if you want to, I'm going to uh, pray us out real quick. And then we're going to do the benediction. But I just want you to know God loves you. Amen. You are one with God. You are one with us. And if you want to come in to praise God with us or you want to stay online and praise God with us, just continue to trust God and have faith in him and continue to love yourself, love the people around you, pray for them, pray for your enemies, and just know that God will make a way for you. Amen. 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 Lord God, we just thank you, Father God. We glorify your holy name. We thank you for your word, Lord God. Thank you for reminding us and letting us know that we are one with you, Lord God. Thank you for reminding us that we need to be a unit, Father God. Thank you for letting us know how much and how important we are to you, Lord God. We just give you all the praise and all the glory. 
Lord, we just ask that you just continue to nourish us and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Continue to put your word in our life. Continue to uh, build up our armor, Father God, with us and to fill in those cracks so the adversary does not come in, Lord God. Lord, we're knocking on your door. We're asking for you to open it up for us, Lord God, and show us another way, another path, Lord God. Show us where you want us to be. Mold us and create us to the new, Father God. And continue to us, uh, continue to prepare for us the way. We glorify and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Um, please stand for the benediction. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Ooh, I'm looking at the clock. I went over today, y'all. Bye bye. That's all right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Raise your right hand, please. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything God is everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And all the saints say, Amen. 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 But now dismissed. God bless. Amen. You are one.